Hello, my fellow egg heads. This is Liz. I'm a certified technician. So you turn on your HP and you get this please do not power off your device screen. You may be stuck in some sort of boot loop or it just freezes. Why is that? Well, the two most common reasons for this problem is a problem with your solid state drive or SSD or a problem with your operating system. Now I'm going to take you through the troubleshooting process to how on how to fix this. So you're going to hold down your escape key, your refresh key and your power button all at the same time okay because we're trying to access a screen here and so what we're going to do is we're going to click on all three of these hold them down and your computer's going to kind of turn off and and refresh restart right and then you're going to be in this screen now from this screen you can um, access some of your recovery process but sometimes that doesn't work so we're going to go down to launch diagnostics and with the, with the arrow keys you can navigate and then hit enter on your keyboard and that will bring you once again to another screen. So there are two scenarios once you reach this screen. As you can see, this scenario is the storage test is grayed out. It can't even see my solid state drive, which means it's probably a problem with it. You could try um, reinstalling it, unplugging it, and plugging it back in, see if that fixes it. But if it doesn't, that most likely means you have a bad hard drive, you need to replace it. The second scenario is you have access to the storage test. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to arrow down to the short storage self test and hit enter. It will immediately start testing my computer. If you do not have diagnostic software, then you can use what's the process of elimination, which means trying to install an operating system, replace it. If you find that that does not fix the problem, then the next scenario would be to replace the solid state drive, which we have videos down below on how to do both those things. Okay. So if you're results are like mine then we're going to keep going in the video because as you can see the solid state drive doesn't have a problem so i need to try reinstalling the operating system if your solid state drive fails then that means you need to replace it and reinstall the operating system on it we have videos down below in the description on how to do that so moving on to installing the solid state drive because my sorry installing the operating system because my uh because my solid state drive passed, the next option is to try to install the operating system. I have this bootable USB for, with the installation software. I'm going to hit the power button and it's going to immediately take me to this screen. If you need one of these USBs to install the operating system, then we have how to make it down in the description down below. But I've already made mine, so we're just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to use my arrow keys and I'm going to arrow down to recovery using external storage. I have my USB plugged in and I hit enter. You can also try using it with your internet connection, but that is harder. Now I'm hitting next on all these and I keep going. It doesn't seem to realize my USB is there, so I'm going to plug it in again. Ugh. Oof, it's restarting on me. So this is a real life possible scenario. Oh, it detected it and now it just immediately started the process. So at the end of this, hopefully, it's just an issue with my operating system. Maybe it needed an update. Maybe it had a glitch or some sort of error and it just needed a fresh version of it. So uh, keep in mind when you do this, you will lose your data. But if your operating system was bad anyway, then you will in fact have already lost your data. So anyway, as you can see, it's now complete. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.